for joining us today in celebration of National Nutrition Month. Chef Maxwell and I have gotten together to do a food demo of a healthy, fun item that you can prepare at home. We're gonna be talking about hummus. Hummus is traditionally a Middle Eastern cuisine, but here in the United States, we like to eat it as a dip with either some vegetables or some whole grain uh, tortillas or crackers, and you can also add it to a wrap or a salad for some extra flavor. Hummus is uh, made with chickpeas. Chickpeas is an excellent source of protein and fiber. Fiber is great to help lower your cholesterol, and it's also really good for your gut health. This recipe you can make as low sodium as you desire. It's great to follow a low sodium diet if you ever have any heart conditions that you may need to get your blood pressure under. You could also drain the can of chickpeas to lower the sodium or you could just use a salt substitute such as Mrs. Dash. In addition to this awesome recipe that Maxwell is preparing, I've also seen recipes for dessert hummus from like chocolate chip cookies or even like a brownie batter hummus. You could make this with sweetened with either honey or maple syrup to reduce your added sugar and it is great with a side of fruit or graham crackers. And now I'll introduce you to Chef Maxwell who will demonstrate how to prepare this wonderful food item. Okay, so today we're making roasted red pepper and roasted garlic hummus. Some of the ingredients that you'll need is about uh, a cup of roasted garlic. All you need is uh, some oil, toss them in some oil, roast them in the uh, oven at 350 degrees for about uh, 15, 20 minutes depends on your oven. Um, you'll need some roasted red peppers. Um, what you do is cut them in half, uh, hit them up with some uh, olive oil. And you'll notice here that I left the skin on this one. So you're gonna wanna take the skin off, which is very easy after you roast them. So I'll demo that real quick. You get the meat of the red pepper. You'll also need about, um, uh, two and a half, three cups of um, chickpeas out of a can is fine. Um, rinse them, but you don't need to rinse them fully. And then you'll also need some tahini. Tahini is pure ground sesame seed paste, um, but you only need about a tablespoon of that and about an ounce of pure lemon juice and salt and pepper to taste and a little bit of um, olive oil. Here are some of the tools you'll need. I have a commercial kitchen robo coop, but it's just a food processor. It looks monstrous. You probably don't have this in your kitchen, but any um, food processor will work. Um, but you could use, you could definitely use the one you have at home that's much smaller and, more, and less uh, bulky and uh, more compact. First, we'll add the chickpeas. And then we'll add the roasted garlic. And then we'll add the roasted red peppers. We're gonna add our lemon juice, our tahini blend, our sesame seed paste. Forget your salt and pepper to taste, but we can start out with a good pinch. Or two. <laughs> If you have your olive oil in a squirt bottle, um, it will help as you pour. Lock your lid in nice and tight. And of course, turn it on. So what you're looking for is a smooth paste, almost like crunchy peanut butter. So to get that paste, you're going to need um, oil, but you want to slowly incorporate it. A nice steady stream, as you can see here. You'll probably need about four ounces of olive oil. And it's gonna be real chunky at first, but it'll smooth out as you add oil. Also, if your commercial uh, food processor is clear and you can see in it, besides this metal cup or bowl, that would help too as well. And you wanna let it run for about a good five minutes um, to create that smooth paste. You wanna make sure that all the garlic's chopped up as well as the peppers, but the garlic and the, uh, the meat of the chickpeas um, come out. 
So about five minutes in the food processor, like I said, it should be a pretty, uh, it should look like chunky peanut butter. Um, and since you added uh, uh, roasted red peppers, it'll have a red tint to it. I also took a uh, whole wheat pita bread and I put grill marks on it just to give it a grill flavor. And then I cut it uh, in triangles, as you can see. You get about six triangles out of one pita bread. So that's what you see here with the grill marks. But this is the uh, finished product, roasted red pepper and garlic hummus. Mm -hmm.